fall. It's the off season in Tamuk for Javelina basketball, which means the court doesn't get to see live action for a few months. But who's to say the hard work can't start before opening tip-off in November? The Hogs have been on a steady track under the helm of head coach and former Javelina great himself, Johnny Estelle. It's his third season, and every season just seems to get better than the previous. It's tremendous to see win totals jumping from one mark to the next. But upon losing players of the likes of starters like Troy Jones, Jamar Goodwin, and DJ Weathers, it could be tough to revamp the squad. There's no telling how Coach Estelle plans to do it. However, it's plain to see. He has all offseason to make it happen. Troy Jones, Jamar Goodwin, and DJ Weathers are left, correct? Yes. Um, who do you expect to replace those players in those positions? You know, those three, were, man, they were unbelievable in terms of setting the foundation uh, to this program when I took over. Uh, you know, you have to start somewhere, you know, and, and there was another guy in that group named Juan Wright that uh, what we set out due to injury last year uh, with a shoulder injury that's back at 100% now, that's a part of that group as well. So, you know, Dewan would ascend to that position, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Marcus Fraser is another senior. Uh, Tim Singleton uh, is another guy. And Tomas Diaz. You know, Tomas has actually been in the program longer than everybody. You know, he was here before I was here, and he's a great student athlete, a great leader, a good, good representative of our program on and off the court. So those guys will be, you know, entrusted. This program will be entrusted in them uh, at the beginning. But leadership can come from anywhere. You know, I've coached in junior college for 14 years, and I've had freshmen that led our team. You know, we only have sophomores and freshmen at that level. So leaders can come at different, uh, you know, capacities. They can come in different age groups. But you got to earn the right to be a leader. What's up, baby? It's, uh, what's this, week three? I don't know. Week three bodies is tired. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. I got to take this. This chick just was like, that chick just said. My, bro, no, I ain't get this shit, bro. Oh, my gosh. Bro, I ain't get this. Bro, bro, I had this chick that was following me around, bro. She was following me around, bro. I ain't want this. Bro, I went to go get some posters at the, at the store, and they gave me the wrong one. I ain't paid for it, but I got to go get that bag. I need that. Look at this. We already on the beach when I need a picture for it. You be tripping. I'm just really hard to get past because I'm just a great defender. Like, you know what I mean? What do you do? Can't do that. It don't matter. Walk. Break them off, bro. Oh, you don't have to show me something, man. I'm too big. Break them off, bro. <laughs>
explain to me what is no excuses, just a You know, it's unique. When I was at Navarro and I took over the program, I, I wanted a catchphrase that I could say that wasn't very long-winded. I tend to be long-winded. You know, I know you guys know that. As You ask my players because I, I tend to sh- – coach with a lot of passion so I tend to use my own life and stories and things like such but I, I wanted to come up with something that brought us together you know something that would uh, de-escalate situations something that when we were having a tough time or we we want to you know give a, a lot of thought into well, why are we doing well it's because no excuses just commitment we're committed to excellence we're not managing failure you know managing failure is not a part of our program uh, commitment uh, it just makes you go the extra mile uh, no excuses is is not commitment. Excuses are a way that you're not committal. So it's a way that we check each other every day, uh, staff included, to say, hey, no excuses, just commitment. Get the job done. No matter what the circumstances are, and no matter what's going on, we're going to band together and we're going to do this together. I got a buzz this in my back right now, man. So I got to sit out for a week or two. But in a couple more weeks, I'm going to be back out there with my team. We're going to be working. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be good work. Uh, Dwan, you're going to be the one shooting the ball. I want you to shoot it, and I want you to break to go rebound. I only want about two steps, though. Okay? And now you got you got to lay some wood on them, and then go get the rebound. Okay? All right. Here we go. With two hands. Got ball. Got ball. Got ball. Stay down, Dom. Stay down, Dom. Good, Rob. Good, Rob. Good, Rob. funniest facts is my children. I mean, I have four children, um, you know, and a wife. I met my wife here. That's not a fun fact. That was a good thing for me. Uh, But I have a son that's 23 that's finishing grad school. Uh, I have a daughter that's actually a sophomore here that's 19. I have a daughter that's a sophomore in high school that's 15. And then I have a three and a half year old son, and, and he came along at the end there. He's we call him Baby Oops, uh, but no matter how he came, he's a blessing from God. He's 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 a great joy to me and my wife and our family. 
So if I want to say a fun fact, I've got every situation from uh, a graduate term paper to getting a job to, Dad, you know, my tummy hurts. You know, I need my diaper change. Well, he's potty trained now, so he don't need to be, you know. So, but, but Dad, I got to go potty. So we've got it covered, anywhere in between. Hey, fella. When you miss the lip, you got to get that 10 in. We're not very good, are we? I mean, let's be honest, right? Not yet. That's right. We're going to be really good defensively. But offensively, we are i don't think we've missed the shots where we didn't score in that possession. Okay? So, hey, we got to make sure that we're helping each other. We're kind of letting people go by, but we're not even, we're not even there to help. Okay? We got to do better on the ball, though. Okay? We got to do better. And then our transition defense at corner three, Dewan had an opportunity, drove, kick, fellas. Everyone's got to corral to the ball, okay, in transition. That's all, that's transition defense is stopping the ball, okay? All right, but overall, good effort. Yeah, offensively, that was a good way to push the ball. Okay, we got a lot of layups, a lot of transition. It lets us know that we're getting comfortable. Half court wise, we got to get a little bit more acclimated to what we're doing, though. There was still a lot of people running around looking like they got their head cut off. Okay, that'll come with time, that'll come with patience, but we got to make sure that we understand the concepts of everything we're doing. A couple of you asked me, Coach, what play we're running. We haven't talked about one play one time, right? This is all just straight 50, it's all read and reactions. Okay, you got to understand where you belong on the court, what happens if the ball goes here, what happens when the ball goes there. We still got plenty of work to do, that's what that proved. Okay, we're getting there, we're doing a good job of everything we're doing high energy, high intensity, we're listening, but we got to understand it's also, we got to know where we go. Okay, and that'll come with time, but overall, keep that energy up, keep that effort up. All right, let's talk about today a little bit. Today was about, let, let's get out of our comfort zone. And the practice is going to get like that more and more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, you know, there's a term that a, that a guy told me about that's out there now um, uh, called, called a condition, a mental situation called being passive aggressive. You know, what does passive aggressive mean? Anybody have an idea what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're mad, but you ain't gonna say nothing. You're not gonna say anything. Excuse my language, but my English. But you're not gonna say anything. But you're really frustrated, so you start kind of, you know, mumbling under your breath or pouting or you know, you're you're sitting there, you know, throwing things around, but not, you know. And somebody says, "What's wrong, man?" Oh, nothing, 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 nothing. No, we have gotta be passive, passive aggressive. I'm gonna pass my aggression on to people who can't play as hard as we need them to play. I'm going to put that pressure on you. That's the way you train soldiers. Do, how do we train soldiers? Would you like to charge the hill or would you not like to charge the hill? Would you want a condition today? Do you want to learn how to shoot this gun today? No, you don't want that to shoot. Don't, don't, no, you go lay in the air condition. No, there's not a lot of questions. There's just people that just pick up the shovel and dig when it's their turn to dig. They handle responsibility. This is not the army. Those people are putting their life online for us to have freedom. I'm not even comparing that. What I am comparing and what we're doing is, it's a pride deal. They do it for the defense of you and I. They do it for pride. They want this country to be number one. What do you want this team to be? Do you want this team to be number one? Then let's work like number one dudes. Let's work like number one people. Let's, let's, let's give these people, when they come, there's 16 home games. The most home games in I don't know how long. Right, Mr. Larry? They've been loving. We used to play 12, 13. We had played 11. There's 16 times that our fan base gets to come to see us play. They want to see dudes flying around. They want to see dudes ducking that ball. They want to see dudes pushing that basketball, shooting the three ball, and making it, and then turn around and guard. They're not looking at us coming down here trying to score 35, 40 points. Well, look at our football team. Our biggest opponent, our football team, they scored 40 points in one quarter last week. Can, I mean, can we score 40 or 50 or half? I looked at some old stats. It ain't about me, but I looked at some old stats. Man, I didn't know. I forgot we scored 127 in the game when I played it. When we got people down, that was just the beginning. We didn't let up. We didn't have no second team, third team. Everybody was the same. So if we, you got out there and you didn't want to play that day, that's your fault. We got to play. And that's the way I want you to be. We're not conditional. We don't have on and off switches. 
We may not win every game, but we're going to compete and play hard from 1 to 14, and we're going to give you everything we got. We're going to be a great teammate, unselfish, and we're going to play this game with a whole bunch of heart and a strong mind. Some of you have a strong mind, but your heart isn't where it needs to be. Some of you have a strong heart, but your mind needs strengthening. When we get them two together, woo woo, you got to watch out. You better watch out. Now you got an illegal weapon. Coach, he's only 6'3". It don't matter. He's a lethal weapon because he's what you call a warrior. A warrior. When you get the warrior status, dude, I mean, dude, you can walk barefoot in any hood in America. You can moonwalk in Compton. You can Michael Jackson over there in Alexandria, Louisiana in the bottom. You can walk through Fifth Ward, Texas, and ain't got to blink an eye. You can go to ATL, yes, sir, and do more than eat barbecue. But when you ain't confident in yourself and you ain't put the work in, you don't, it takes a lot of courage to take that first step out the car. We got to take the first step. I've been taking first step my whole life. I ain't afraid to take first steps. How about you? You should have no fingernail, dude. Every time I look up, you biting your, are you nervous or hungry? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a bad habit. Come on, Mr. Larry. All right, Reverend E. We need to pray for Mr. Larry. We got we got to get him back where he's dunking. You <laughs> dunk ball, cross him up there, Mr. Larry. Ready, ready, buddy. All right, let's go. Continue to continue to support the Javelinas in every sport. Continue to help my team grow each and every day, mentally and physically. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, sir. My team. Yes, yes, team. Right here. Javelinas on three. What, you you say that? Count it down for me. One, two, three. Javelinas.